Would you care to join my following? No, sir. I do not follow. Welcome back to Infinite Talks Podcast. It's Eric Castillo here with another beautiful episode with a special, special guest, a.k.a. the co-host. We got Suli Medina in the building. Hey. What's up, Suli? I'm good. Good morning. Good morning. It's actually 7.50 in the morning. I like to do things in the morning. And thank God that Suli is also a morning person. It's 11-6-2021. And uh, this is the episode with Suli Medina. She's my... My cousin slash I don't even know if you're my niece in some weird way because my we're her family. dad is we're blood we're, we're blood we're family her dad is my my cousin and, uh, and I've known him for a long time the first memory yeah. one of my my oldest oldest memories I don't know if you know the story Sully when I lived in Chicago with your dad in the same house during the winter we would go outside and play snow fights and my very very first snow fight I walked out and your dad had a huge like I just walked out I was all excited. I was about four years old, five years old, and your dad grabbed a, like a huge snowball and he just threw it right at my face. <laughs> oh my god! And I cried and I went back inside. <laughs> what a beautiful memory. <laughs> when you yeah, never forgot. So. Yeah, but it's not nice. like, your dad. Your dad is an amazing guy. You know him more than yeah. me, so you know how amazing he is. And your mom he too, is. and the, your whole fam, your girls and everybody. So, thank you so much thank for jumping you. on today. I've known Suli since she was a, a very beautiful little kid. She's still a very beautiful, very beautiful person inside and out. Thank she can you. be a model if she wants to. And um, <laughs> yes, yes. Uh, so <laughs> Suli and I have been coordinating for about about a month and a half, maybe two. We've been reaching out to each other and, and uh, trying to get her on the podcast. So thank God for today. It's 11 6 and she's on, man. So it's a very special yeah, day. Yeah. We've been, uh, put, uh, you know, trying to put it all together and then finally came together. So welcome to the show, Suli. Welcome. Thank and um, uh, I expect for nothing but greatness from you. Nah, I'm playing. <laughs> <laughs> so much pressure. <laughs> nah, I'm playing. I'm playing. But yeah, how, how do you feel? How do you feel being on on the episode, in the podcast and all that stuff? I, I feel so good because when I texted, when I messaged you, okay, so I went through some stuff and then I had like this breakthrough right mm -hmm. and then it was it's just something I've always wanted to do like the whole podcast I've always thought it was fun and stuff and then I'm like who can I reach out to and then I was like Eric right so mm -hmm. I reached out to you and then you told me you were like I was just thinking about you so it was to me it was meant to be like yes, this and it's, whole situation right now happening I actually yeah. was because I was I was thinking about like I should have a female like co-host somebody to give yeah. like the female version and you just different ideas as well right yeah and i had thought about you i thought about valerie you know i thought about the cousins you know liz and all the cousins like and i was like yeah. silly be a great silly be a great uh like a uh, co-host and then you text yeah. me it's like that's pretty weird so today we're gonna talk about deja vu we're gonna yeah deja vu we're gonna jump right into it because i feel like deja vu is super strange and when it happens to you you're like wow what is going on yeah. here? It's like a glitch in the matrix. That's what it feels like. Yeah. And I think it was like a couple of weeks ago, right? We we're texting, and then I was like, "Dude, this feels like I, I'm driving." Like I, the scenario was like I had. This is like a deja vu moment, and I was texting you about it. So I was like, "Hey, let's talk about that. Let's talk about deja vu." So, have you ever had any deja vu moments in your life like that? Are very memorable. A ton, a ton, a ton, like a ton. It's crazy. And so, can you give me like what 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 do you feel like or what do you think why it happens or what? 
I don't, yeah, that's what I was going to say. I don't, I don't know what it is because I've had a lot of it. And then, so I'm there in the moment and then I'm like, wait, I've done this before. You get me? Like what's going on? So personally, I think it's just like a reassurance from the universe and God that, okay, you're supposed to be here at this time and you were meant to do this. That's what I think. Like, it's just like, like it, like a affirmation telling me like, okay, you are, you're going in the right path. You were supposed to go through this. You get me? Like you're in the right moment because you've already lived through this. But then that's weird because then I'm like, okay, if we've lived through this, are we just going like in a loop? You get me? Like, Whoa. okay, yeah. this before are we just in a loop like that's you get me but then that gets me thinking because i've read books like on buddhism and just a bunch of other stuff you get me and it says that in order to reach like nirvana which is heaven right you're you're always going to go through the loop until you've until you get until, it right like yeah until you get it right until you've reached the, your highest self you get me so i don't know like I wow think. and and i think you're you're right i think i have a, a similar theory that i'm pretty sure at what when i was younger i didn't understand it. i was just like whoa i had a dream about this and right. i would get like so excited right. but now i'm like i have a more conscious thought about it like okay it probably is like you are at the where you have to be like you are where you have to be right. you're seeing what's supposed to match your timeline because i think about timelines yeah. too so because every decision you make changes your timeline so like like let's yeah. say you yeah. never let's say you never reached out to me right and we like yeah. Eric I want to be on the podcast so you we wouldn't have had this experience we wouldn't have this yeah. talk right now you wouldn't be on the camera right now it would have been a totally different experience and the timeline would be that timeline probably still exists in another I mean I think about that too so that's also a thing yeah I, no I get you yeah, so I like feel I feel like some sometimes when you make different decisions your timeline yeah, it's course. Like, yeah like yeah. you 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 create another timeline and that timeline continues to go and the suli who never reached out to the uh, uncle eric you want to call me uncle eric 43 year old eh. <laughs> <laughs> so that that timeline still exists but then the one that we're on right now is, is like parallel existing it's yeah. very very strange man it's like you keep, you can think about that for days and be like so many theories that come up out of that but yeah it's just so much i also think like Okay, so like God, right? He has a plan for everyone. I feel like, like what we're talking about, you're just supposed to go through this. You get me? But it also depends, I guess, you're going to have the deja vu depending on the choices you make. So, like you said, either you go this way or that way. So, and yeah. then, so we said we were going to talk about this. So I was like, let me do my own research right to like because because then i started thinking about it like what are my theories wrong but there's a bunch of theories out there and scientists don't know like what happens but there is this theory that it's it's not like a phenomenon or anything it's just that you're let's say you go inside a room you observe everything like your mind and your brain is working like at 100 miles per hour and it's scanning everything in the room but then you get distracted by like uh, a noise or your phone or something. And then you look down at your phone or the noise or whatever. And then you look back up, your brain already scanned the situation. And then that's when the deja vu happens. You're like, wait, I've done this before, but you did do it. It's just that you got distracted. You get me? That's one theory, but I've had deja vu where like, it's just too much. Like it doesn't make sense with that theory like because conversations happen in my deja vu or like the way i'm looking at something and then i look up and then my deja vu is oh my god i had deja vu oh my god i just said i had deja vu and in my deja vu i said that you get like it's weird like that that's like like uh like deja vu within a deja vu <laughs> like yeah. it's kind of like when you when you have a dream and you're 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 conscious that you're dreaming and then you actually wake up from the dream but it's also you're still in the dream have you ever had that happen yes i have like you wake up from a dream, but you're still in the dream. Yes, yes. That's like the exactly. craziest. That's the craziest ones I've heard. It used to happen a lot, and I would have weird dreams. But when I had like my desktop next to my bed, 
my dreams were like so weird and random like but i think it's because of like the electro waves or something from the because i started googling up right like i was like what is going on my dreams are just so weird but it's because they said like if you sleep next to a radio or like a tv or a computer or something like the electro waves go into your i don't know mind or i don't know yeah yeah it's it's very it's uh that's the way energy works you don't see it it's like um you know, like when you see sparks, when you rub your hands and you touch something, you know, yeah, you see yeah. sparks of stuff. So the the computers and the phones, they all have radio waves going through it. You know, like the, like the phones have the Wi-Fi, you know, the Bluetooth. So they, they could manipulate your brain work, you know, while you're asleep if they're very near you. And imagine. So, yeah, I think that's, that's I love that, that you're saying that because we all have weird dreams, man. And like some, they don't even make sense sometimes. Like, And the weird they thing do. is that. I always tell my daughter, like, I have dreams and I always I always see these weird cities, but I already know them because I've, had, I've dreamt them so many times. Like, I know how to get around those cities. I was like, but well, they don't make sense because I don't, they don't even exist. <laughs> I've had dreams like that, too. Like, where, okay, I'm already in this situation. I've already been through I know that I'm dreaming and I know it's a dream, but I can navigate through it. You get me? Like, mm -hmm. it's pretty weird. Yeah, yeah, right. Like, it, it seems like it exists in that in the dream world. But like you know it like already like I've used, like the places look familiar yeah. the homes look familiar like the interior like when you're walking around the home in your dream like I've I had a dream about this home but I've never been in there you know but I already know how to get around it yeah. or people that you know from dreams have you ever had that where like you know people yeah. from dreams but they don't exist in real world like that is crazy I've had like not people but I've had like like just objects and like situations and that I've done before and I'm like okay don't do this because you did this last time. And it wasn't good. You get me? Mm -hmm. So it's weird because you're kind of controlling your dream, which is weird. I don't know. Yeah, that when you start learning how to control your dreams, it's a very, very high technique, like very, very skilled technique. It's hard because yeah. you. I forget. I used to learn, be really good at that. Excuse me. Excuse me. But I usually like nowadays, I, I forget that I'm dreaming and just like I'm just going with the punches. Yeah. But when I know that I'm dreaming, it's really cool because I, I can start flying. I can do all kinds of crazy stuff. <laughs> I mean, yeah it's amazing it's amazing like you can like oh i'm dreaming okay let's get it on let me be superman so i'll start flying Before, like, this was like years ago like when i told you that i would sleep with the desktop next to me i used to have a dream and then like i would wake up from the dream go on with my day but then i was just so stuck with the dream that i wanted to finish it so i would fall asleep thinking about it and i would like dream it again and finish it which is think it's weird too like how is that possible you get me like that I is like, i can never I, do that <laughs> i was younger and i was like what do i have superpowers i can control my dreams or something but it happened like a couple of times where I'm like i'm gonna finish this dream tonight and then like i would fall asleep thinking about it but i guess because i'm just constantly thinking about it it happened but still that's weird how so, how old were you when th that started happening when you figured out that I you could like to be continued like maybe do a part two of that that dream how, how old are you continue. Like how how old were yeah, you? Yeah, like I, I was, I guess probably like sixteen, seventeen, because I was like in high school. Yeah. Okay, so you were older. Yeah, it doesn't happen anymore. That yeah, it was when I was like sixteen, seventeen, but it doesn't happen anymore. I've tried, but now I'm just so tired sometimes that I I knock out. I don't even know if I dream or not. <laughs> like <laughs> just go. Ugh. I've I've um for a while I would document my dreams and stuff, but I don't do that anymore. But. I would do that just so I, I wanna, wanted to see what was happening. Like, I was, if I wanted to see if there was any correlation with, you know, theories that I had in my head. But nah, it was weird. But I, I've never been able to do the to be continued. Like, oh, let me let me consciously do it today. Like, oh, I was left off in this dream. Let me continue it. It does happen randomly. We're like, oh, I remember like weeks or months ago or years ago I had that dream. And all of a sudden I'm, I'm like pasting it, pasting it together with the other side. Like, okay, like it now makes sense the first dream in this dream then it's weird because i've had dreams where like i'm in a different family like it's not even me like i see myself in the mirror it's not even me like what the hell it's strange like i'm in a different family uh different life it's kind of like i don't know if you heard but there's pe people that said stories when they're in a coma that yeah. they lived the whole yeah. life with a like a whole another person you know yeah. like they they were married to different people they were a different um profession and when they wake up from the coma, they're like, oh, my God, it was it wasn't really happening. I had a whole family in my and a whole yeah. other setup. And now I woke up and I'm back to this reality. It's super weird, man. 
Yeah. Which is also like that whole thing, like in a coma that they live like a whole life. That's weird because dreams, because I, I Googled it up before, I Google everything. But like dreams actually happen like within, I think I've read like in less than a second, like your dream is less than a second or something like that. But it yeah, seems like, like it's like time, whole time life. Uh, goes really fast for us. And I mean, goes normal time. Well, like you've seen it, but in reality, it's going like this, like super fast. Your conscious just reads it, everything like an absorption. And then it happens to you right quick. But it, in reality, we don't know how fast that was. Like it just, it was like very, very fast. But for when your conscious is slower, I don't know. It's very strange. Yeah. yeah but um, good. when, when have you had any, I mean, any like, experience? Huh? Can you hear me? Any, any, yeah. Yeah. You're good. Okay. You, you were saying? No, that sometimes I've had dreams like where I jump from one dream to like another dream to another dream and I'll have like five dreams in one night. But they all connect all to each other? Situations. Oh, okay. Yeah, I've had that. I had that happen. No, they're just one dream. I could be like underwater living the life of a mermaid. And then like the second dream, I'm like running <laughs> away from like a ghost. And then like the third dream, I'm like at home eating barbacoa or something. Like they're they're just all different. Like, but they're all just like it's weird you know what's 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 one of my my strangest questions about dreams is like how can you hear like voices in your dream if if not there's no audio coming in like how can you how can your brain make up an actual voice now that you think about it i don't even know if i've heard voices i think i just like you're like go through the dream (laughs) (laughs) no <laughs> no, but like I think like sometimes like without talking you just know what's going on and you know what's being said to you without people moving their mouths and stuff. Mhm. Think about it's it. like telepathy. That... It's like telepathy if you think about it. Or like or like Wendy says it telepathetic. You're telepathetic, bro. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, actually that I had a dream a couple of weeks ago. And it was about Grandma Lala. Uh-huh. I I randomly dream about her. Like I always think about like I want to see her in my dreams, but I never do. So when I do, I'm like, oh, that was a badass dream. So I saw Walita Lala two weeks ago. And uh we were at the salon, you know, where my, my, my parents and everybody works at. And she came up to me. She was she had like the huge, like a huge, like the biggest smile ever. And she was like holding me like this, like from the arms. Kind of like when you yeah. see somebody and you're holding each other from the arms. And she was like, yeah. mijo, mijo, te están viendo. But I could hear her voice. And I wanted to talk back to her, but I couldn't say anything back to her. But I was, like, so excited. And we're just, like, like, it was, like, a like a, like a a good, like, it wasn't a hug hug, but we were holding each other, like, super tight. And she was so happy. And and I was, like, I woke up. And I was, like, yes. I, kinda, I was kind of crying when I woke up. I was, like, man, I miss it, right? The weird thing is that I had just made an episode, like, two like a, two weeks before that, and I was talking about her. So if you go back to 9-11, yeah, yeah, if you go back to 9-11, uh, I made an episode called, you know, Jimmy Darts, um, uh, David Cho, and Wilita Lala. I talked about her. That was my, like, my exit to that episode was talking about her. And I was mm-hmm. recently listen, re-listening to that episode because I wanted to see, because I thought about the dream, so I went back to it, and I was like, oh, no wonder. She was... Uh, I guess she was giving me props because I gave her some, I was talking about her, like how, how ahead of her time she was, you know, she was like way beyond this. And I can see that energy going through a lot of the family members, you know, like a lot of us have that, um, energy where like, we're thinking about not just right now, but we're thinking about how we can make things better for the future by doing things today. And yesterday I had a a quick, um, conversation with my tia Luisa, right? You know, tia Luisa. And she was talking about at one point, 10 years ago, 10 years ago, or maybe a little bit more than that, she had designed a plan to make a digital church. She made this blueprint and she sent it out to the the parish here and all the people who run the ch- churches here yeah. to create a digital church, not to have it just fully digital, but yeah. to have it as a, like a, something as an add, add on, like something that where people can communicate more easily, kind of like. She was ahead of her time, dude. And I was like, damn, yeah, you're yeah. like, 
you're like the Yeezy of, of Laredo. Like you're thinking ahead of the you know ahead of the time, you know. So we were laughing about it. But yeah, so it was amazing to see Grandma in, in my dreams, and and she was very vivid, very very uh, you know happy and stuff. Though she, I think she, what she was trying to tell us or me is that people are watching this. You know, it might not be a lot right now, but the right people are tagging on and, and listening to these episodes. I feel like. One of the things I wanted to bring you on too is because you have a lot of lot to give. I feel like when I've met you since you were a baby and, and like not a baby baby, but I remember when you're like four or five, your smile was just it's like those those powerful smiles. Like you see a genuine smile and then, and it's it you've always been a very uh spark in the room. So I wanted to bring that because I know that you have a lot to offer. Um and also from a female's point of view, you just you just have a different yeah. point of view, you know, like you, you're, you can bring so much to the table that I can't, you know, bring to the table. So I was like, okay, Suli, she's got that positivity in her. Um, she has a lot to offer. Let's bring her home. So, yeah. yeah so I texted you, you were like, mm -hmm. oh my God, I was just thinking about you. And then I think you just told me recently again, you're like, oh my God, I'm having deja vu. It has mm -hmm. to be on deja vu. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. It has to so, be on deja vu. Like, yeah, like I said, I think it's just kind of my theory is that either it's the loop that we've done this before, or I like to think that it's God telling me, like, you're on the right path. You're meant to be here. I like that one better. I like uh, that one better. Yeah. Because I remember I told you about the 1111? Mm hmm. Dude. So, <laughs> yesterday. Yes, like, I had, to, I had it yesterday. They had me like, oh my God, 1111. That's weird. Okay, okay. Go ahead, go ahead. Well, okay, so like I did, it was like crazy 11 11 for like probably like two months, like crazy, just every day without wanting to, like at night. Or it wasn't like I was checking the time, like, oh, is it 11 11 now? It would just happen. Like, even if it wasn't the time, I would like send a text and like it said today, um, and then the date 11 11, like what? Or like just on the TV or stuff like that, just random. And then the 1111 did you did you see what it stands for no 1111 yeah well there's a lot there's a lot of theories about the 1111 but it's like considered like an angel number right mm -hmm. and it means that um it's angels and god trying to tell you like okay we're here for you you know what you're supposed to do do it go for it don't be scared you get me so it was just like a reassurance for me that okay, I'm supposed to be doing this and everything. So I saw that number and then I just stopped. I still see it randomly, but I switched, like, I switched numbers. And then I started seeing 22, like 222, 222. And Which like, is what? one, 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 like, one, one. Yeah. Yeah. I was like, what's going on? Right. So then I Googled it up and it means, um, also like I Googled up the angel number and it said that, okay, you did what you were supposed to do. Now keep on the right path. You get me? Wow. And then that was, yeah, that was probably like, I did that for, I saw that number maybe like for two weeks. And then this week and last week, I've been seeing 444, which Dude. is weird. You get me? I'm like, no, I'm like, wait, <laughs> wait, don't, but, wait, but, stop, but, stop right there. 444, four, 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 like the yeah, 44s four. yeah, have 44. been, have been like vivid for me for like about three weeks, about a month. But I mean, no obviously. Way. Yes. No, and, and oh, wait, wait, time out. Okay, time so out. four <laughs> time out. Four four four. I Googled it up, of course, and it's like an angel number. <clears throat> Excuse me. And it means that um angels and like past which is weird. Uh past like, well like guardians and ancestors and God mm -hmm. is watching over you. So you've been seeing that, and then you just said that you just saw what you fell out on your dream. So that's crazy. Mm. That's yeah, literally... I made that correlation real quick. Yeah, the... like that's what okay. Four, 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 angel number. So what? really, really, my my kids, they both play baseball and softball. Mm -hmm. Their numbers, they use number forty four. That's their numbers. Like they like forty four. So, but yeah. the weird thing about it is that i haven't not just not only just seen it on them because obviously i see it every when they play and all that stuff like later on today but i've seen it like on random things you know like on i go somewhere and it's 44 like okay this is pretty strange and then this is this is this is what we call synchronicities right so i'm going 
mileage and like 44 is like okay wait all right that's too much too much that is, this is coincidence but then like it keeps on getting more in my face and it's been like that for about three to four weeks and I'm like, I just, is... there we go. <laughs> and then you just confirm what it means so it's like that's amazing man. that's a, the synchronicities is something else that i'm really into a lot of people are like nah it's just coincidence but for me it's like i'm in a higher plane I'm, i can actually see how the connections no. are happening you you just confirmed to me that the numbers are real i guess because 444 means that the angels and past ancestors are watching over you and guiding you and you literally just said that when you saw you like well that you dreamt about her you and then me. what did she tell me do you remember what she told me she's well, like she was like very she's sweet, like yeah, they're like, watching you Te están viendo. <laughs> and you just said that so, the ancestors and the guardians are watching yeah. you, watching over you so wow <laughs> that's a synchronicity thing we need a little sound for that synchronicity time <laughs> that's crazy. but like I'm glad we're talking about this because it's just confirming everything for me. Like that the 1111 was true and that I had to do what I had to do. The 222, you did it. You're on the right path. And then the 444, um, don't worry. Everything's okay. We're watching over you. So that's nice to, to know that. You know, um, I'm very, uh, when I started getting really, really into like a spirituality and mm -hmm. studying other forms of, of just, just I wanted to expand, right? Yeah. So I went, I went, when I was in, in uh, I used to have this job and it was so stressful. So I would do, I would read the I Ching. Have you heard, have you heard of the I Ching? No. There? Okay. So it's, I don't know really, really what it is, but during that moment, that was like a lifesaver. So the I Ching, it has like a little numbers. I think it's somewhat okay. Korean or uh, Asian type of philosophy, or whatever, but it has numbers. And it has a certain lines, kind of like this, like the ones right here, but they're like oh, sideways. Yeah. Okay. So every number, it has like a different uh, little sign, mm -hmm. like little lines. And every day I would just like, kind of like wonder, like, what is that? What is this all about? You know, what is it all about? The I Ching, what is it all about? It turns out it's kind of like a, it's kind of like part of a uh, numerology and all that stuff. I, I can't, let me, let me Google it real quick. Cause I want to, I want to show you a little bit. Cause mm -hmm. I, when I went. It was like 2007, 2008. And it it just took me to a different level of thinking. Like the I Ching chart is called. If you want to look it up, it's the I Ching chart. Like you like the way you write it, I Ching. Like I and then the word Ching. I have my I, journal. No, I Ching goes. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> so look, let me see if I can pull it up. No, I can't. You know, you won't be able to see it. But have you ever have you ever had a chance? Well, let is <clears throat> let me try. Hold on. Hmm. Excuse me. So let's say um, right. they would have uh, images, right, of the of the little lines and stuff, and they would say. Yeah, I'm looking at it too. You're looking at it. It would say wind. Yeah fire you know thunder and water yeah so that was like the first time i started like really like paying attention to numbers uh -huh. and that was in 2007 2008 but i really it just it was just it would take me my, my mind off of like what was going on at work because it's really negative i had a really negative job but um I actually i used to work for, for uh cps so it was a really stressful job you know it's just like yeah. every day it was like oh my god going through all these all these uh like you're filtering all these energies so i was like this would help me like kind of like stay grounded and be like, all right i mean obviously prayer too but this would just take me off like my mind like from looking at okay let me let me just go into it deeper so ever since then i've just been more more in tune to like numbers and i was like okay what does this mean but now that we're learning more and there's more information out there you can actually like read up on like numerology and like the angel numbers and stuff like that and actually you know who's really into that stuff too Herman, the author, Hello. Guru Katz. Yeah. yeah, he's into it. So he uses a lot of that numerology stuff in the story. So whenever you read the stories, you'll be like, oh, yeah, like, that makes sense. Like, he's... I think the whole number situation, it has to mean everything. Like, it has to mean something because, <clears throat> like, I know I'm not the only one. Like, you're just confirming that you also see numbers. I know mm -hmm. other people's numbers. Like, it's so weird. Like, so 
I'm and it's, sure it's I like think that. it's if you're conscious of it, you become more aware. But if you're like, you don't have time, like oh, put a bell, put a bell, you you probably won't see it anymore because it's like, like it help. I think it's nice to believe in those things and like mm -hmm. to have faith in those things because it helps you just live a better life. Honestly, like yeah. It makes you think more positive. It makes you think like, okay, I am supposed to be here. Okay, I am supposed to go through this. What I went through, it's okay because I'm going on a better path. Like, it just really helps, like, to have mm -hmm. faith in something. Hundred percent, a hundred percent. Yeah, but it's it's a uh, it's interesting how we go through little experiences like that throughout our life. And if you want to dig deeper, you can, you know, and sometimes people don't are scared of it. Like, oh, no, I'm not going to dig deeper. It's kind of like the whole palm reading stuff. And I've never done that. I've always been interested. Like, ah, I can't believe it. like, I remember when I lived in Houston, there was like four or five, like psychic readers, palm readers down the block where I lived. And I was like, one of these days right after school, I'm going to go stop there. <laughs> I'm going to want to see what's up. But I remember uh, grandma like, and they're... Yeah, it's all interesting. That? Like all of those things are interesting. Mm hmm. I just remember my mom and my grandma were like totally not like no never go there please never go there so like that that stopped Thanks. me from going but yeah like it's just i feel like like even like when you're very close to someone you're able to communicate like in a higher frequency so you have like telepathic thoughts and if that's happened so much like me and Clara, like Clara and i work very close like we're always together you know like we, we live in the same household you know we have our kids together so there's times where like I'm thinking something and then she says it. And I'm like, I'm proving myself right, man. I feel like we're in a, in a higher frequency. We can communicate. Well, I think when you connect with someone, you get me like who has the same energy flow as you, like, it's just like perfect. You don't even have to talk. It's just like you're in the same room, not mm -hmm. talking, but you're feeling each other. You get me like, that's cool. And then, you know what and happened last, last, cool. last week, uh, I had the, the vaccine. So oh, I was yeah. going through some shit. Like I was feeling crappy. It was like it was like the worst. I took it really hard. Yeah. So, it's my my brother Rick, I hadn't told him anything about it until I saw him on Sunday. For Halloween, we got together, but I, I was really bad from like Wednesday all the way to Saturday. And then on Sunday when I saw him, I was like, bro, I was going through this pain. Like I like my whole shoulder was, like my whole body was like achy. Like if I was like uh, hungover. I felt really bad and all this. And he's like, you're not going to believe me, Eric. On Wednesday afternoon, out of nowhere, I started feeling this pain right here. And it didn't go away for like a few hours. And I didn't know where it came from. It just came out of nowhere. I was like, you're uh -huh. serious, bro. That's weird. Like, here's probably That's, like filtering yeah. my pain. Yeah, you guys were brothers. And like, you were probably sending like his, your pain towards him. Like, <laughs> which is like, <laughs> like okay. Hey, Rick, Jeff, y'all need this pain. Yes, yes. <laughs> Help me go through it. Yeah, so uh, it's, it's strange how that, that, like, like those synchronicities are hard to explain. It could be pure coincidence, and I always say that just so that people be like, ah, oh, pura coincidencia. And like, but it, I feel like there is a strong connection when you're around people, or even, like, you never have, it's never happened to you where, like, you're thinking of someone, and then you run into them, or they call you, or, you, or you're, like, all out of the blue, like, they're right there in front of you, like, what? Yeah. How does it... All the time. Well, most of the time, but mm -hmm. it's happened a lot. Even mm -hmm. like with my mom, like, um, she's like, I feel like I feel pain or whatever. And it was like when I was real sad, you get me. She's like, I can't breathe. I'm like, that's how I'm feeling. So she was filtering your energy. Getting my energy from me. So. Wow. Like, so she felt like she yeah. couldn't breathe. She felt like uneasy. Yeah, yeah. I remember like when I was going through the whole thing like very sad i couldn't stop crying i felt like i felt like i couldn't breathe my chest hurt like everything she was feeling the same thing you know I mean? so and she's wow. like i don't know why i'm feeling i haven't been telling her the whole situation or anything until i finally told her and then she's like oh my god that's why i'm feeling like oh this. so she she didn't even know no she didn't even know like so i was like I'm so it's not like this. no yeah it's she had no clue she thought she was like sick or something you get me mm-hmm then I told her like, okay, I'm gonna tell you something that's happening. I told her, and then she was like, oh my god, like that's why I've been feeling like that because you are feeling it. You get me? So I guess like she's my mom, 
and you know how they had like mother instincts and stuff but i guess she was my pain she was feeling my pain too so wow yeah like you see like when we're talking about things like this you start learning that you know that you're not the only one that's going through something like that that there's actually a higher connection that people are going through we just probably don't talk about it because you know just don't talk about stuff like that but when we're like in little conversations like this you're like okay i remember having conversations like where people were saying like no man i was thinking about this person and then all of a sudden i see them i was like that's pretty weird and we're having a conversation or like and now you're saying that your mom didn't even know she was feeling weird and she didn't even know that you were going through it and then when you told her like oh my god it makes so much sense I feel like there's this, I always, like, I don't know if I've ever told you this, but I feel like there's a conscious energy. You can't see mm -hmm. it, but it's like the vibe, right? Oh, you see the vibes, you know, see, the oh vibes. man, I see the bad vibes. Those yeah. vibes are like, uh, it's like a wave and you can't see mm -hmm. it, but that wave is right there. And it, it's uh, like a quantum energy wave where like when you around somebody, it's kind of like a, like the Bluetooth, like your, your phone pick it up, like, oh. If you're, yeah, you're near yeah. that person, it'll like, rub off yeah. on them. And then like they feel something or they think something. And it's because of that conscious energy that's connecting that we don't know too much. Or maybe we do, like maybe somebody in, in this world has done those studies, but maybe they don't want to share that information because it's like super powerful. Yeah. Because once you understand consciousness and how it works, it's pretty weird because I've seen a video. And let me tell you where I got this, this whole wave thing. I saw a video of a paranormal video. I like, I like to watch those paranormal uh, stories. Yeah. so there was this dude who reads like other people right and he, he's an older man he's i don't know if you ever saw the psychic uh community something like that the paranormal yes, community he, yeah i don't know if you're talking about the chip guy but is it, I know is it got an older guy with glasses an old man yes. so the they're sitting something. yeah they're sitting down on the living room they turn off all the lights and they're using the infrared cameras and the the what you, the, they can sense like the temperatures in the body. They can see the temperature in the body. Oh yeah. So they're they're sitting across from each other and they're just they're kind of like very quiet and they're trying to read the room and they're trying to read the person. And all of a sudden, from the the old man, he's sitting down. But from the other side of the other dudes, the other the other the other guy sitting next to him, you can see like this temperature change, mm -hmm. and then you see like this wave, and it's like going Trend. into the old old yeah going into the old man. Yeah. And then he's like filtering the, and then he goes into a trance. I was like, dude, yeah. that is, that is amazing because. Yeah. I, I do believe in all that though. Like the, like the good energy and the bad energy and like, cause sometimes you can be like in such a good mood and then like you just go around someone who's like, you get me cranky or something and like the whole vibe goes like away. Like you get me like, mm -hmm. so it's always good to always be around people that are good for you and that like are constantly happy or or at least trying or good mm -hmm. thoughts everything yeah so th those waves i feel like the those plasma i call it like a plasma wave because i even when i meditate i, I feel it like I, i'm more conscious of it when i meditate I, i'm like okay i can feel this energy around me like i feel this yeah. it's very very light but you can feel it like you go like that, and then when you start doing that, like you start feeling all the, like the the house that where you live, it feels it's very light. It's like you're pushing like a plasma, that's like super super thin, super yeah. thin. But if I think they're they've done studies where they <laughs> like you're pushing a little, like when um they've done studies where you can you can. <laughs> I've seen studies where they see like the the brain waves or the not the brain waves but like just waves, and you can see the color the color change the spectrum change where. The energies is hotter, the energy is cooler, you know, stuff like that. See, I've always wanted to see the color of my aura. <laughs> I've always tried to do and I never had I never found out how to do it. My mom knows. She's seen it. She's seen it? Like I think she's like, seen it. Either she's seen it somebody else or somebody saw it in her. I think she said that her they saw it in her and she said like they saw like gold, like a golden aura all over. The color of my aura. That would be so nice. I know, like that. Uh, there's a book that I would read a lot, and it would teach you how to do it, but I could never do it. So I was like, uh, I don't know. It's just, yeah. I guess you ha you have to have the gift for it, or like the yeah. sense for it. Yeah, I wonder what my color would be. Like um, I know. the what? Also, 
I feel that my energy was probably calling towards your energy, and that's why we connected. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, like a, it's like a, like a telephone call. Eric, and I found mm -hmm. you. It's like a telephone call. I feel like it's like telepathy is like a telephone call. That's why it's yeah. telepathy, you know, like the yeah. travel is tele, you know, like, um, but I feel like you can have telepathic powers if you want to, like it's, you can expand on them. Like if you get more in tune to your senses, more in tune to, uh, meditation, more in tune to prayer and all that stuff. And you start able to expand on those abilities. And you're like, yeah, I'm taking off. <laughs> <laughs> but I think that's so cool. I do believe in all the energy and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. And to be surrounded by good stuff like that. Yeah, and it's it like. affects your lifestyle as well. Like, yeah, like who, if you're around bad people all the time and they're always thinking negatively, they talk very bad, you know, they have the, the foul language, all that. I mean, you can be use foul language and still be positive, but. Sometimes if you're just negative, like the way you say stuff, the way you think yeah. about people, that's going to create a bad environment and those bad vibes rub off on you, even if you don't want to. Yeah, so, me too. but I think if you're, if you're a hundred percent sure about yourself, I think you're protected in some yeah. sort of fashion. Yeah. And then uh, obviously yeah. those people tend to wean off and boom, they're, they're no longer there anymore. Yeah. That I do believe too. I mean, as long as you stay like true to yourself and you're like, I'm not going to let those bad vibes ruin my vibe mm -hmm. you're good yeah it's like um i was listening to when i used to listen to a lot of crazy music i used to like you would be amazed that i had this record collection and thank god i lost it i lost it i, I actually not lost it like mine but i lost the, the record collection i had a bunch of cds yeah and i and not that i like the lyrics but i like the, the the energy behind it, it was like it was like heavy metal it was like a little bit more than heavy metal. It wasn't heavy metal. It was more like like just I was getting into this like supposedly hard rock mentality for a while, and it was a uh, very aggressive music. But and it would just get you in a bad mood. You're like, hmm. I lost those CDs. Thank God, and I, think I never found them. It had like a big stack of CDs. Yeah. But I got rid of all that energy, and and it's like uh when when you program yourself to feel a certain way and, or not even that, like you just program yourself without even knowing you're, you're following that vibe and you don't even know why you're in that vibe until you're like, you start a analyzing, okay, what have I been watching? What have I been listening to? Who have been, I, who have I been hanging out with? You know, and all those things put together, put you in a certain spot. And then that's why you're attracting the right people or the wrong people. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Cause even something simple just as music can like it totally affects your mood and stuff so i can imagine listening to like heavy heavy metal and just being like why am i feeling so angry you get me like I, mm -hmm. it does affect also like social media like i think it affects you a lot i oh, yeah. i deleted mine because i was just like i'm just like what's the point right now you get me like I'm trying to go through this process of like not needing it and just you get me like I, I want to get rid of it for a while also like it's it's just bad energy too if you think about it because you're you're just comparing well at least myself like comparing yourself to others comparing your life to others your accomplishment accomplishments to others and it just brings you down and I'm like I don't need that right now so like I didn't uh, actually it does it does um I, I usually I've learned not to post anything that's gonna be like uh like oh look at me I just post yeah. stuff that's gonna make an impact on somebody's thought process yeah and um because I feel like yes you can easily fall into the trap of like post 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 what you can see about me and then look you can judge me for this but don't yeah. judge me for that you know like well, so and sometimes like I would even catch myself like if I was eating something nice, like, oh, I need to take a picture of it because I want people to see what I'm eating. It's nice. You get me? And then mm -hmm. I'm thinking, why? What's the point? What's the point? Like, yeah, it's it's just very strange times. We're we're actually learning our our kids are probably not gonna go through that. They're gonna be like, huh. You guys yeah. were so amateur. <laughs> like you guys are so amateur. Is what happened was that the transition between 
not having these technologies available and to actually having them is kind of like giving a loaded weapon to a kid who doesn't know how to use it. So if you don't know how to use a weapon, you're obviously going to shoot a lot of crazy things. You're going to shoot yourself at times. So it's like the analogy of like having a weapon you don't know how to use is the same thing as having technology and you're able to all do all this stupid stuff for the last 15, 20 years. We've ex been expanding on this topic of technology and a lot of people haven't been able to been trained or we're using it as however we can and but we haven't been taught how to use it effectively which is i feel like right now i've reached a, a point in my life where i can i can use this weapon and be like okay and now i'm going to use it and i'm going to use it for the right reasons and the right purposes and i'm going to be able to target and expand on someone's mind uh, and share some love love frequency right here this is what you, this is what the e is for and, and be able to share that frequency and, and share some light on how you can impact your own life and make a change on your own life. And using this, th this type of technology, the social media and all that stuff to make an impact in your life so that you can become the best version of yourself. And at one point I didn't have that knowledge. I knew that I could use all this technology and I was so excited because I've always been a filmmaker since I was a young kid. I always wanted to make movies. I always wanted to make, you know, I was, I was a recording artist at one point. I was learning how to record. I didn't know how to use all that, uh, all that shit. I just knew that I wanted to do that. But once I, I cleared my mind from all the ego stuff, like, oh, I want to do this because I want to be famous. Oh, I want to do this because I want to, you know, make lots of money. When I, when I raised all that stuff and just like, no, bro, just keep it basic. Keep it, keep it with God. Like, just keep it with God and everything else should, should pan out for you. Because if you're using God's energy, you cannot be wrong. You know, you can't go wrong with yeah. God's energy. So yeah. I was like, when I figured that formula out, I'm like, you know what? I have a good notion that I'm in the right path. Um, I'm not doing this for clout. I'm not doing this for for the likes. I'm just doing it because I want to connect with somebody and be like, look, bro, um, you don't have to do all this clutter outside. Just go within yourself, find God, do step by step, follow the follow the decision making. Decision making is very crucial. Even the smallest decision can make a biggest impact. When you start learning all those little things and you know that you have the power to impact somebody who might not be even uh, a relative of yours or even a relative of yours, anybody who comes in contact with you through any kind of medium, and it can be a technology, it can be face to face. And when you have that power and you understand that power, you're like, OK, I have a weapon that I can use for the for the good. I'm hunting and feeding my family. And this yeah. is what I'm doing. I'm hunting te with technology to feed my family to feed people that I, that I know I can feed, you know, like with my energy and my knowledge, what I've learned and, and use not only that, but also learn from other people and be open to other ideas and how to collectively hunt for each other so that we can yeah. feed each other. Like, Hey man, I got this plate. How does it taste? You know? And then you got your own plate. Oh man, that's awesome. Like I'm, this is all analogy talk. Right. But, um, it's just amazing how we're, our kids are going to be in a different mindset because down the line 15 20 years from now they're gonna be like okay this technology is now vr like now they're doing everything vr you know everything's vr like they're, they're gonna be in their room but in, in their vr set they're gonna be like hanging out with each other you know like in a different platform it's just gonna be so scary <laughs> Thank it you. is like what it's scary mm -hmm. something to think about but i feel like we're, we're learning how to use these weapons and uh i think for the last few years, people have, you know, like misused it. And now we're like yeah. in a compete, like you think about it, like people are competing and they're posting, look what I bought, look what I got, look what I'm eating. So they get, they. Get, I mean, it's okay. Like they're going through their, their growth. So you can't, we can't judge. We just got to accept where they are. Yeah. You know? I think also, I think like, of course you can post whatever you want and like it's your page and whatever, but Sometimes people are just doing it for bad reasons. You get me like, just, I don't know. I guess, I don't know. But I'm glad I took a break from it for a while. Like, I probably won't get it to a bigger. I need to find myself first, be good with myself first, and then, okay, I'm, I'm good. Oh. Is that Jimena? <laughs> no, the little one. The little one. You paused. I can't see you. Oh. Yeah, guys. So learn how to use technology wisely. Um, use it for 
the good. That weapon is very, very dangerous. It's a very dangerous weapon. I mean, you can do a lot of good. You can do a lot of bad. So you choose wisely. At the end of the day, it's when you're going to go and you're going to die. Are you, are you going to be happy for what you did? Are you going to be uh, proud of what you did? Those questions are going to come around and we're going to start wondering how uh, how this plays out. You know, like how, how you use your weapons to feed your family and create, you know, spiritual wealth, mental wealth, monetary wealth, all that stuff. But yes, uh, it was been a it's been a good episode. I'm just gonna wait for Sudi real now, so so we can wrap it up. I know it's getting close to the time we wrapped it up. But Sudi, can you hear me? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So I was just saying this last few words before wrap it up. I know it's getting getting kind of late. It's been a pretty good, interesting episode. And, yeah, um, I talk for days. So me too. Like that's why I call it Infinite Talks. Yeah. But I'm I, I'm thinking about changing the name. It might change a little bit to hablando en el infinito eh. <laughs> in spanish <laughs> no the reason why is because there's another uh podcast called infinite talks but it's all, it's all, yeah yeah but it's it's this uh younger lady uh i think she's on tiktok or something and it, and she's just interviewing like musicians and stuff like that pretty cool no 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 beef no beef we can share the name if she's cool with it i can share the name like it doesn't matter because mine is eric uh, infinite talks with eric castillo and Suli. Yeah. So yeah. it's just a little bit different. But yeah, um, I was just saying these last few words that like um deja vu. It's it's uh something that you can, you know, study it. Uh, whenever it happens to you, just like study if this is where you're supposed to be. To, yeah, like for me and Suli for me, Suli yeah. and I we think that that's where you're supposed to be. So that's why you're going through the the that specific scenario where like, okay, I'm in the right place at the right time. It's like a confirmation, yes. affirmation, right? Yeah, confirmation. I'm good. I it's meant to be here. I'm supposed to do this. I'm on the right path. Mm -hmm. yeah. It's a manifesting of a, of, of uh, that. You, yes, you're in the right place at the right time. And also just study. Uh, if you're interested, go and read the I, uh, the I Ching, study about meditation, how meditation works with, yeah. with a whole uh, telepathy and all that stuff. It's, it's a game changer. It's a, been a game changer for me. Uh, how prayer works uh, how and filtering other people's vibes and energy how it works go into that read all that stuff because it's very interesting and then like learning how to use uh technology wisely and i was saying like at the end of the day when you die do you are you gonna look back and be like oh man i'm proud of what i've done or you know are you gonna be like man should i have really done that you know like are you happy uh use technology wisely it's a weapon that can be very dangerous and it can be very very uh useful as well you can feed the family yeah, yeah. and that's yeah. what we're going to do here Suli and i are going to feed the family when we're, right now we're 87 deep, uh, 87 87 subscribers deep but when we're about a million 1.5 then we'll be talking a little bit more <laughs> we'll have a whole you know, buffet yeah we're, we'll have a, a huge studio a little workout routine there and everything and people can go in and talk for days infinite talks yes infinite talks but yeah anything okay. any last words Suli? um hmm. i mean no i i loved today's episode we mm -hmm. went through deja vu numbers telepathy um dreams and yeah mm -hmm. Those good yes and uh we're very busy very busy parents very busy people so that's our number one job and right now we're gonna get busy because I have a, I have two two games today for Eric. He has a baseball game, so I'm gonna be coaching and helping him out. That's something I love to do. And then uh, tomorrow I also have games with Bella, softball games. So I'm also gonna be doing that. So tournaments today, tournaments tomorrow. Busy, busy schedule. But I was able to put it in today and record the episode, and very happy for that. Okay. Me too. So for it's Infinite so Talks good. podcast. Started great great energy mm -hmm. go ahead go ahead are you gonna say anything more? no yeah like uh, uh. no no just go, I go, feel go, great go. my morning started no my morning started awesome thanks that's amazing 
the the grand rising i like to call it nowadays the grand rising you rise and it's a grand day every day every moment so here in infinite talks podcast we like to talk about positivity we like to talk about game changing moments uh, ideas to expand on the love consciousness the love wave right here that's what you see the e and the, the energy the e's for energy also for eric and the the love frequency right there if you can see it right here and this is actually me saying love that's the word love and we made it into a logo. So Infinite Talks is all about love, sharing the frequency. Please love, like, share, comment, subscribe, become a part of the wave. Remember, guys, we're not a brand. We're a frequency. Peace out. Bye. Hold on, hold on. Don't leave. Don't leave. What?